Today I'm back with the second box from the Amazon Custom Returns electronics palette that I picked up recently. So the entire palette, the full MSRP on Amazon.com, $2,026. That was the full manufactured suggest retail price of all the items combined, 2026, okay? My cost. I actually had to pay shipping on this because I can't, as of least right now, I can't get just electronic Amazon customer return pallets locally right now. Nobody's carrying them. So I actually had to buy this pallet from out west. My cost shipped for the pallet, okay? $505. So I got this for about 25% of MSRP, which is higher than I like paying, but it's still not bad. It's still, there's still some room there to, to make a little bit of profit. There's still some room. My goal as a pallet flipper is 10% MSRP, paying 10%. So 25 is up there, but actually the first box was last weekend, last Saturday. I'll make sure a link down below, a link to the first box. And after the first one, I'm already in profit. Like I've already made all my money back but and I'm in now just potential profit. So no matter what's in this box, it, it's pretty much free, free product pretty much in the grand scheme of things. So if you haven't already, Feel free to go down below, hit that subscribe button, because I upload videos on this channel every single day. I haven't missed an upload in like three straight years. I upload every single day. So if you like mystery boxes, you like subscription boxes, Amazon pallets, this is your channel. So feel free, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell, and I will see you every day on this YouTube channel. So here we go. Ready? Box number two. This will complete the pallet. This was a smaller pallet. Only two boxes came on, on this pallet. It came freight. And number two, hopefully this box is going to be as good as the first one. The first one was fantastic. I got high dollar stuff out of there. It was honestly a pretty good freaking palette. I was, I was pretty happy with what I got out of that first, that first box. It was pretty good. Here we go. Box number two and the last box. So this full MSRP was over 2000 bucks. I paid a little over 500. What do we have this time? I don't, the last time when I cracked open the last box, I saw big ticket stuff like right on top. I'm not seeing any big ticket stuff jump out at me yet. It might be buried, you never know, but little peek for you guys. That's what I'm seeing at home for this box right here. Here we go, first item, uh, blah, screen protector, no good. We've got, oh, a very damaged iPhone cord. That is trash. Here we go. Next, we got a, wow, beat up, destroyed, cracked phone case, trash, and <laughs> then another phone case that's actually still good to go, that is still sellable. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, nice. We've got a Chromecast Ultra. I'll take that right there. Okay, that's not, oh, is that still factory? Nice, that is still factory sealed. Freaking sweet. So let's go ahead. Let me look up on Amazon.com. Pretty much, you know, that's the price guy for resellers, Amazon.com. So which thing goes for? Here we go. Chromecast Ultra in new condition on Amazon. Where is it? Is that it? I guess third third generation. Looks like it's going for 30 bucks on Amazon. So 30 bucks for the Chromecast Ultra. Not too bad. Th 30 bucks right off the bat. This thing is still brand new, factory sealed. So, not too bad right there. We got a Google Chromecast. Another phone case. Uh, what is this? We have a pillow pad for a tablet stand. So, like at night, when you're in bed, you can use this pillow pad to uh, put your tablet on and kind of like hoist it up so you can see it better. HDMI cable. Not super fancy, but we have a box with a couple of HDMI cables in it. Let's see, what's this? We have a patch cable. This is another random cable. Yeah, I have a pretty nice collection of uh, overstock cables I've kept over the years. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's another computer stand for your laptop. You put your laptop on there, it helps with like the airflow. You can attach legs to it, you want to prop up a little bit. So, just another 
Another laptop stand. Okay, looking for something bigger ticket. Ooh, nice, here we go, that's cool. A chemical respirator mask, Gu double gas mask protection filter. Cool. So this guy has some decent value to him. If it's used, obviously it can hurt value a little bit. It might be used, possibly. Brand is N-A, maybe S-U-M? Nassam, model number, let me just look it up really quick. Okay, on Amazon, looks like uh, it's 24 bucks. Replacement filters are 16 bucks, but just the box, $24. Open box item, made like $15 or so. Not super expensive. Oh, we have some, uh, looks like cords. Some, uh, what those things called? Yeah. Cords. We have a mystery box. Oh, it's just like a fancy uh, iPhone case. Okay. Not too exciting, right? Next, we have a Rival 3 wireless mouse. Actually, my pretty decent value to it. Looking on Amazon once again, looks like this sells for 49 bucks new. So use condition, probably at least 30. That's not bad. So we got a few things in this box that are like $30 items. We have a three-in-one wireless charger, it says. So fits your, your watch, your phone, and your um, AirPods. Obviously, it's used condition. Everything in there, <laughs> there's rounding around. That's probably a good 10, 15 bucks, though. We have a spare remote for your TV set. It's G branded. Some of these remotes can actually go for 10, 15 bucks a piece. I used to uh, go to the Goodwill outlet store here in Indianapolis, down there off of Georgetown Road, and I would grab every remote that I could find in the bins. And uh, you, like you pay by the pound. It was like what three or four bucks for like a pound of goods, and uh, you can get you know two or three of these for like you know pretty much like a dollar a piece when it all comes down to it. And uh, some of those can go over 10, 15 bucks a piece. It's easy money. They're easy to ship. They take up probably no storage space. They used to sell a lot of remotes back in the day. Looks like we have a mystery box. Oh my goodness, we have use and return toners for a computer. <laughs> They're very used and returned, so the person obviously bought new toner, replaced it, and they sent back their old used toner, so that's nice. LED projector, brand is PVO. I've sold a lot of projectors over the years. I have never heard this brand now. Amazon PVO Mini Projector, PVO Portable Projector for Cartoons, Kids, Gift, Outdoor, Movies. Amazon new for $69.99. Nice, so 70 bucks, new condition on Amazon. And it actually looks like it's still all factory packaged up in there too. So eBay, at least 50 bucks on eBay. 50 bucks at least. So that's not too bad right there. More cool items. Oh, we have one of those really cheap karaoke microphones. I used to sell these for about five bucks. Let's see, here we go, I got some nice. We have a, uh, this is a, is this a Razer? Or this is a Republic of Gamers ROG Gladius to origin optical gaming mouse wow never seen this at first i thought it was a razor brand but it's kind of like maybe it's like an off-branded razor kind of has that razor vibe to it razor makes uh, lots of uh like expensive mice for computers let me see if i can find this one quickly okay amazon rog gladius 2 really so no Amazon for $94.99. Wow. 95 bucks new condition. That's nice right there. And it is in there. So looks like open box item. If it sells new for almost 100 bucks, I bet you use like open box item 60 to 75 on eBay. That's not bad right there. This is actually going to be, my, my goal was to double my money. I spent 505, I'd love to get $1,000 back. 
Double my money on like what, 40 or so items? Easy money. It won't take much work to sell all this stuff. Another, we have a phone answering system. This is a three handset. These are usually about 30 bucks or so. People still buy these, they do sell. Sometimes they, they it can be slow sellers though. Like they're not like super fast sellers, but they do sell. We got a phone adapter, just a little dollar item. We've got some Pioneer speaker, two-way speakers. These, uh, <laughs> I only have a way to test out like, like car speakers. So these I'll probably end up selling locally, like on, like on Facebook Marketplace. Be best way to sell stuff like this stuff that I'm not able to try out. Sell it there for cheaply and, uh, you know, lots of times the person gets a good, ooh, what's, oh, dang. Nice, in the box, no package, I just found some Apple AirPods Pro. <laughs> it's, it's missing one though. <laughs> It's missing the left one. Or, no, it's missing the right one. It has a left one, no right one. That's kind of funny. That's pretty cool, though. I know just the charging case by itself has value to it. Oh, actually still has a little bit of a charge in it, too. A little green light. Let's see how much, like on eBay, how much just the charging case sells for. Looking on eBay, just the charging case in used condition, pre-owned. I'm seeing 50 bucks. 50 bucks. This is for just the case. So 50, I'm seeing around 50 bucks for just the case. And then for just one AirPod, do people just buy one? I'm guessing that they actually might. Like if they lost the right one, or they lost the left one, actually a, have a replacement. I'm kind of curious. Kind of Find any listings for just like one AirPod. <laughs> so on eBay, yep, I, I found some. Here is like replacement, like just singles in used condition. Here's like just the just the uh, right one, 60 bucks. Just the right one. These are like used too. 69 for just the right one. 65 for just the left one. 55 for just the left one 60 so it looks like honestly looks like if, if I piece this out if I sell just this left one Six as high as six. We'll, we'll, we'll say 50 and the case is 50. So this right here is a hundred bucks That's not bad Not bad. So we actually found an Apple and an authentic Apple product. We found Apple AirPod Pros in this palette That's awesome then we have a little charging thing. We have another phone, AT&T, wireless handset system, about 30 bucks. We have a wireless gaming mouse. Looks like this is a uh, off-brand wireless gaming mouse. Off-brand ones, you're lucky to get 10 bucks out of them. You're, you're lucky. First person says, I'll give you five bucks. Like, I would sell it to them like, like that. Then we have a mystery package. I do not know what that's for. Sometimes you'll get stuff in Amazon pallets and you don't know what it's for. Research it later. And this is the last thing in this box. We have another a phone system. Looks like three VTech handset phone. They're 30 bucks right there. So I bet this box right here with the first box, my goal is hopefully down below on Flash and the estimated selling total is like around a thousand bucks. I love to double my money. I'd love to. I spent 505. I would love to sell everything for at least a thousand. Double my money. Easy, you know. There's probably about 40, 45 items, I bet. Maybe as high as 50 items. Yeah, this easy money. So this was fun. I love Amazon Customer Return Electronic Palette. This is a pure electronics palette too. Just electronics. And I'm gonna try to get some more of these. I'll have to pay shipping costs. I'm sorry, I have to be careful, like where I buy it from to make sure it's like good product and hopefully you'll see some more of these make it how it used to be I always used to do just electronics on Saturdays and I every week I look forward to it lots of my viewers look forward to it so hopefully if you haven't already subscribed hopefully I earned your subscription feel free down below click that subscribe button click the little bell next to it 
and I will see you every single day uploading a brand new video on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody. I'll see you next time.